Welcome back, VA user. In today's session, we are going to learn how to set a certain field as read-only. So there are situations when we just need to set a certain field read-only. We would be able to do so using the application dictionary of the Vienna Advantage. As I have already told you that if you are not a technical person, there are cases when you just need to set up a certain field read-only and showcase to your customer, you would be able to do so without having much of the technical knowledge. It is very simpler into the VA system. Let me showcase you uh, one of the window. So I will take AR invoice here again. And here you would be able to see that there are certain fields which are marked as read-only. So here document status is a read-only. Would be able to see the order is a read-only field. And we'll say new. Organization gets enabled, but no document status and order is enabled. Now let's suppose there is a case when I just need to mark my accounting date as read-only field. Since when we are entering a certain date, the system automatically fills my account date. I need not to select that. And hence the customer requested to mark the account date as read-only field. How we can do that? Okay. It's very easier into the VA system if you want to set a certain field as read-only field. What you need to do is you need to log into the system tenant. So as I am into the system tenant using the system administrator role. And thereafter, we just need to search the window using the screen configuration window. So once I would be here at the screen configuration, I will search my window. That is AR invoice. Now, move on to the tab. On to the first tab, that is the invoice tab, we have to mark our account date as read-only. So you can search directly or you would scroll it down somewhere and you can select that relevant field. So it is the account date. I would search account and here is the account date. Now, if I want to set it as read-only, what I would do, I will scroll down and check on this read-only checkbox, save this, and thereafter I will move back to my tenant, say cashier is set, and then we'll open the AR invoice, and now your account date is read-only. So if I will create a new record, I want to change a date here, 22, and I will move on to the next step. The system changes the date automatically. So these are the cases when you just need to mark a certain field as read only. Or there might be a possibility if you have a certain field available and your customer wanted that, you just need to unmark that and you just need to provide that field as editable mode. In that case, you just need to move back into the system administrator. Relevant field, you just need to check. If it is marked as read only, you just say, read only false and save that. So in our case, I'm just making account data as editable field. Move back to your tenant, close the window, cache reset, and then open your window and you would see that the account date becomes editable. So I would be able to make the changes in this, okay? So that is how you would be able to set a certain field as read only field on a certain screen. And if you want to set a read-only field as read-only field as editable field, then you just need to uncheck that particular checkbox. So that's all in this particular video. If you think that other information is sufficient enough for your understanding and you would be able to set your fields as read-only and not read-only, then I would request you to like our video and subscribe our channel. Till then, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.